What's up everybody? Today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the array join function in Airtable. If you haven't used this yet, it'll be very useful for your linked records, for your rollup records, and you'll be able to do Airtable automations and some other cool things with your data that I'll show in the video. If you haven't met me yet, my name is Ben Green and I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners probably just like you or people set up their information systems, do workflow automation, database implementation to really get to them to that next level and in the, into their zone of genius in their work or their personal life. So without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so now we are in our Airtable base and as you can see, we're, we just have the sales CRM up and we're just gonna be playing around with a few fields in this table. So as you can see over here on the left, you have like two linked records and there's like a lot of fields over here, but you won't we won't be talking about those or referencing those today. So there's these two linked records and then as you can see on the right here, there's a lookup field and a rollup field. And so I'm gonna show you really how you can use this array join function to better utilize some of this data that gets rolled up or looked up from these linked records. So without further ado, I will get into the differences of when you might use an array join function or just as a matter of fact, when you might have an array. So this first one here is a, a, look, a linked record that does not allow linking to multiple records. So you can see this here is toggled off. So what that means is every record that has this column can only have one linked record in here. Like if I try to come in here and add another one, I can't because that's toggled off. Whereas if I go into this contact one, you can see there's this little plus sign here, whereas there's not a plus sign here. So the difference here is this has this toggled on. So I can link to multiple records using this field. Now, when you can link to multiple records, you can come in here and select that one and then add another one just like that. And you can see when you have lookup functions that play off of that record, off of that field in that record, it's gonna pull in, you can see multiple values. So you can see there's like a comma and then another one, comma with no space and another one. A lot of the times people want to use this rolled up or looked up data in their Airtable automations, which is a great way to leverage this kind of stuff. Like say you have a course and you have people this week that need, you need to email everybody in the class and you have everybody in the class and their emails, but you don't wanna send a, email individually to every person, you just want to have everybody's emails in here and you want to use it in your Airtable automation. Well, if you're doing that and you just try to use this lookup field, this lookup field right here, if I, I can show you if I just come in right here and I try to add that lookup function, then I can't. This property cannot be used right now according to Airtable. So, so that's no fun. But if I use this array join function, which I will show you how to use right now, then I can use that in Airtable automations. If I add a field to the right here, and you're gonna to wanna to make this a formula field, and you're just gonna type in array join. So what array join is going to do is it's gonna join all of the items in the rollup into a string with a separator. And you get to choose what separator. And it's important if you are using this for Airtable automations, you wanna use a comma if you're using this for like the two of an email. But you can really use anything, like you could use like numbers, just like the word hi or then or optimize is. You could have that like as the in-between character if you really wanted to. I don't know why you would want to, but you certainly could. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have the right contact. So we're referencing the contact field and we're referencing the lookup of email from that contact field. You Once you type out that array join function, I always just like to click on this and you can see the operator. So you can see values and then a separator. So these are the arguments in our function. So the first one is our value. So this is gonna be this, what I would call in Excel a cell reference, but this is gonna be a field reference in Airtable. And so we're gonna say email contact. So it's important once you do figure out which field you want, then you want to put the separator in there. So I want to put a comma space in there. So it looks exactly like it did in the rollup or in the lookup. So you can see these two fields are basically the exact same. But now with Airtable automations, if I try to come in here and use that record, I can now do this calculation and insert that, whereas I couldn't do the lookup. So it's kind of weird, I know. 
a faster way to do this is to use the array join in a rollup function. Now, I don't know if it's exactly called a rollup, but a rollup function, but it is a rollup. If you choose the rollup field, we can do the same exact thing. And I will show you this just from scratch instead. So if I insert one right here and I go down and I pick rollup, then I can choose the contact. And as we said before, contact, you can link to multiple records. So this is going to be useful here. So choose the field. So we're going to do email again, just to keep it simple. You can really, you can do this with anything, but just keep in mind that's how it's going to use your text. It's like with these commas. And if you have like multiple things, like you could have multiple phone numbers in it in a string separated by commas or whatever you want to, but we're just going to do email for this. And so then you can, if you want to, you can add like a filter. So like you only want it to happen when it matches certain, certain conditions, but we're not gonna mess with that. We're just gonna do this aggregation function. And I believe if you just scroll all the way down and then a little bit up, so the third one from the bottom is array join, and you can just click that, then click create field. So now, as you can see here, these are comma separated values and better yet, in Airtable automations, if I delete that, I can reference rollup tutorial in my Airtable automations. Obviously, if my Airtable automations aren't on right now, but I can reference rollup tutorial, whereas I couldn't reference the lookup field. It's weird that they make that little distinction there, but because it's like technically the same value in the, in the cells. But if you don't want to use this two field method right here with using that array join function in a formula field, you can just use that rollup field and get the same result, but with only one field. So I hope this was really helpful. I hope you now know how to use Airtable the Airtable array join function. If you need any help with setting up your information system, setting up your databases, or doing workflow automation, don't hesitate to go down in the description, click request a consultation, and you'll get to speak with me or someone from my team. We can talk about what's gonna be the best solution for you. So I hope this was really helpful and I hope you have a great day. Keep watching for another video and hit like and subscribe.